Hello everyone, it's Rad from Rad Kutsarot and within this uh, old video um, you're gonna hear the forecast for your star sign for the upcoming week which is a August 24th to a August 30th, a 2020. For those who are new to Tarot, uh, Tarot is all about knowledge. It's about the knowledge of the universe and how you interpret that knowledge. So if you do like the way I read the Tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, I am offering you a Tarot classes and uh, how to participate into them, you can find a link down below in the description of this video just so you know by purchasing a tarot class it also includes a, a certain amount of personal coaching with me as well when you do finish uh, the, the, the recorded class okay, and you do have the hang of it already you can address me with whatever questions you think I have not covered up there or simply you can use that time to uh, practice your reading skills, uh, reading skills with me uh, the other thing is, is that if you do want a personal reading, you can go to my website, which link you are going to find in the description down below as well. And there at the very front page, you're going to see full list of my services as well, their pricing. And as soon as you place a, a purchase, <clears throat> I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours via email to give you details how the reading is going to take place. So if you haven't received the email in your inbox, make sure you do check your spam or junk folder as well. So with that being said, just lay back and uh, enjoy the show. All right, so uh, this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well a Capricorn Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading, just give me a second here to shuffle the tarot cards, guys, and uh, we can jump right into it. Right. So the first one that we do have for you, that is to be the world card. Uh, moving next, we have the Ten of Pentacles, uh, followed by the King of Swords. Uh, and the last one, uh, we do have the Moon card. So uh, that um, particular week, it does speak for some kind of a, uh, a partnership more oriented toward gaining benefits rather than an emotional height so it's highly unlikely to be a, a romantic relationship type of partnership so what happens here is that you will see the use of siding with somebody for kind of a, a goal of yours as they are going to see you siding with you for their kind of a goal now uh, accomplishing one or the other goal is not gonna so for example that person accomplishing their goal is not going to benefit you but it's not going to hurt you either while they by accomplishing their goal they help you to accomplish your goal and vice versa so it's kind of like a, a a mutual contribution without having to invest in it much apart from probably a time so um what the week revolves around, it is where you set, um, how can I say it? It is where you pretty much conclude uh, a, a huge portion of your life in a sense of that you uh, pretty, much cl pretty much close chapters and uh, set aside uh, certain enterprises like arguments, problems, etc, etc. So you are reaching a conclusions of an endeavors and that will clear out uh, quite a way a room for a further actions or for a future prospect and this is where the prospect of uh, which you will kind of not exactly need I, I don't know how to explain it it's not exactly that you're gonna need help about that prospect and, and that new perspective if you will but cooperating with this individual will make the matters so much easier than if you try to toil it alone. Now, one problem that uh, resides here, this is within the Ten of Pentacles into the second position, and that is a trust issue. So you may have a difficult time to trust that guy or a woman as they are going to have a hard time trusting you as well. Even if there are some romantic emotions uh, kind of like developed in between you two what you need to know is that the king of swords does not operate under emotions for them what is important is the grand scheme of things for what is important for them is the machine that takes in as so the machine can become a a well-oiled one so you are serving as a part of their machine as they are going to serve as part as to your machine 
okay as long as you do not serve your purpose for them they will pretty much gonna walk away and so should be if they stop serving the purpose for you as well now how the king of uh, swords are going to contribute for your endeavors well they are uh, pretty much knows a lot of stuff and they do have a great influence but the prime reason why things are going to become smoother with them is because they do know um or rather like they do have a, a profound knowledge let's say of what you should do and how you should do it so through their careful analysis over your situation and their guidance rather like their suggestions in their counsel you will be able to transform otherwise your enthusiasm and your eager into a very effective actions so pretty much as they tell you something so you do it and so results are to be produced now by the end of the week um following this uh this narrative uh it's with the moon card there you may kind of start second guessing yourself that you have made the right the, the, the right choice to side with that person or to forge an allegiance uh, with uh, with that guy or a girl that is because the moon card kind of delays results uh and uh, makes one start fantasizing the worst uh, it's like you know fantasizing for example that your relationship is deteriorating or that your job will never going to improve or that you will never going to find love which is a most common question in our line of work but uh, the moon card also has a one trait that seems to be missed from most of the books and that is the trait of the path that goes beyond the summit and that path, uh, as a symbol of the card, it speaks that you are on the right track, even if you do not see it, and you should not abandon that activity, no matter what. The circumstances are vague, they are obscured, you may not know the, or see the full picture yet. It's because the full picture, the, the, the full picture, I'm sorry, involves aspects which are beyond the summit, okay? And once you traverse the summit itself, then the vista will uncover and then you will know that it was all worth it. So as soon as you start cooperating with this individual, even if it seems shady, even if it seems, you know, vague and obscure, keep on doing it. They know what they are doing. You will know in time what you are doing as well. And together you can, for your own personal sake, not for their sake, but for your own sake, you will create what you are supposed to to create okay so that being said uh, capricorn this was your a weekly general uh general tarot reading guys hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it uh one last thing here about the world card the world is very broad in your particular case uh the world speaks about uh, completion and peak of experience and for you is about completing one endeavor and moving to the next one now the only problem with the world card sitting in this position is what is going to be the next one and this is exactly where that individual comes in with a suggestion with a proposal you know or with like said careful analysis over your life telling you know what why you shouldn't do this or why you shouldn't do that you are very good at this or that and so on and so forth and all that it takes is you to trust them and try out what they are trying to point you toward. So yeah, that being said, that was your reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.